Hello everybody, my name is Marcella, but everyone knows me as Marcy. In 2005, I was a hard-working young lady. I worked for a Jewish synagogue. In May of 06, I gave blood to the Red Cross. They had been trying to contact me to tell me there was a problem with my blood. I just figured I was a diabetic and passed it off. When I finally called them back, they let me know that they could not use my blood, but would not tell me why over the phone. They kept calling me, but I was working and paying bills and trying to take care of my mentally challenged brother. It was just a lot. I had a friend who I had been with for seven years who was working with me. He was really sick, and I was worried about him. I told him, you really don't look good. You need to go to the hospital and get yourself checked out. We made a deal that I would go find out what the Red Cross wanted with me if he would go to the hospital to find out what was going on with him. So I went to the Red Cross finally. The nurse asked me all the usual questions, my name, my social, my date of birth. Then she said I was HIV positive. I asked her, are you sure you got the right Marcella Mays? How did that happen? She said, I don't know. I was going to ask you. I was only with one person, so I knew I had gotten it from him through unprotected sex. After I got my diagnosis, I went straight back to work. My coworker let me know the management was having a meeting about me in our office. I kind of just freaked out and said, I don't care if they're having a meeting about me. I just found out that I'm HIV positive, and if they're going to fire me, let them fire me then. Later that day, I went to the management to ask if I could have the 15th off, and he said he would think about it. A few days later, he called me into the main office took me out for coffee and said I could not only have the 15th off, but that I would no longer be going back to the synagogue. I was terminated. I asked why. He said because you left too many lights and too many air conditioners on. But I knew it was because of my status. I went home and I stayed in bed for three weeks. I cried. I didn't have my brother, my grandbaby. I didn't have a job. I didn't have a reason to get up anymore. My son was like, Mom, what's the matter with you? Why haven't you gotten up? He was like, you still have me, you still have my brother, and I'm hungry. Get up and make me a sandwich. We laughed, and I talked with God and decided to go around the corner and talk with Kelly Craig at Prevention Point. She told me about a friend of hers named Matilda O'Neill at Philadelphia Fight who ran a class, and she thought I would be good for the class. I took it and learned everything I could about this virus. And now I teach anyone and everybody that's willing to listen. Thank you.